I'm Osa. Nice to meet you. Good to meet you. Okay, so I have a couple questions, if that's okay with you. Yep, I'll do so, it. So, your album that you released this June, what's the fan reaction been to it so far? The reaction's been amazing to the record. Uh, it's incredible to see that after getting vulnerable, opening up, and kind of diving into uh, you know, some of the areas that are tough to talk about, um, that it really pays and that people are responding to it in such a positive way. Mm -hmm. So, you recently started a fan ambassador program. Can you tell me why? Um, I think for me, it was about finding ways to, to better connect with my fans. Um, and also, you know, pushing the envelope a little bit and doing something that no one else has done before. Uh, finding different people to take some responsibility on and, and become uh, the face for their community of, you know, the leadership of my fan base. And um, it's been really great to see that all come together and having a good time with it. So how has it been working out so far? Uh, it's been working out great, and the fan ambassadors are, are awesome. We've got a lot of different things planned ahead. Can you tell us what any of those things are? Uh, I think the main goals are, are to find a way to get them to, to feel empowered um, and to take on different responsibility in, in their territories, whether it's promotion efforts or uh, whether it's, um, you know, for instance, tonight I've got like a secret thing I'm doing a secret show and having their help to announce that and get the word out. Okay, so I have a couple questions about you. Okay. Besides music, what are some hobbies that you like to do when you get some free time? Um, golfer. I just play golf and, and um, you know, get out there and take my mind off things for a while and just have some fun. Um, spending time with friends is really important to me and something that uh, I don't get to do too much of. But I do, I, I really get into that time. So if you had the opportunity to tour with anyone in the world, who would it be and why? Um, it's tough to say, you know, I think that there's people that I'd work with and that I think would make sense to tour with, uh, and they're kind of different things. Um, you know, Demi is a person that I thought would be great to tour with, and I'm glad I got the chance to do that. Uh, but also, I feel like Hayes would be an interesting person to work with. And work with. So, last year you opened for Maroon 5. How was that experience? Uh, it was great. Adam's a, a good friend of mine, and, and you know, those shows were, were a lot of fun. We're a good setup this year in the shows up with Demi. So, who are some of your favorite bands and artists to listen to? Uh, I've got a, a really wide range of music that I listen to. Everyone from Stevie Wonder, Prince, Jackson Five, to Chance the Rapper, uh, Kanye, Drake, um, Lucius is another artist I love, or Gilbert Eyes. If you weren't a musician, what career path would you have chosen? Uh, it's tough to say. You know, I'm really fortunate to be in the position I'm in in my life, uh, and it's kind of all I know. Uh, I'm also an actor. I do a lot of acting projects and, and love that side of things. Um, so, you know, I think maybe sports in some way, baseball or, or soccer. So what are your immediate plans for when this tour ends? Uh, I go right to Hawaii to start shooting film, actually. Um, it's going to be a good time. The imagining of Jumanji, The Rock, and Kevin Hart, and Jack Black, um, Karen Gillan. should be a lot of fun and uh, continuing to grow as an actor. It's an exciting thing. Okay, well, those are all of my questions. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Good to talk to you. That was great. Bye. Bye.